Some people get scared eating sambar in front of others, not me. Today we're going to the world of drumsticks. These are aphrodisiac and size does matter. The bigger the drumstick, the better the curry. To all my beautiful women followers, this awesome smelling flowers, not of jasmine, but that of drumsticks. Drumsticks are best when there is no rain. That's why they take two crops. One is in the month of March, April, May, again after November, December. The drumsticks are very expensive during this month of November, December, but they are a lot cheaper in the month of March, April, May because they grow a lot in the summer season. When it rains, the drumstick flower falls all over the floor and it looks like a bed of jasmine. But the problem is infestation happens, you know, after rainfall. And also the drumsticks are not this beautiful looking. Because of unseasonal rains, the drumsticks can get discolored and the price of the drumsticks fall rapidly. The most beautiful part of a moringa plant is you can use the flowers, you can use the leaves and even the fruits. So today we're going to use all the three and make a very quick recipe. For this, I'm going to make an onion tomato gravy. So onion tomato gravy, tomato based, one cup of onion and two cups of tomatoes, add mustard, let them splatter some cumin seeds. In this, add onion, add salt and let these onions slightly color. Add a pinch of turmeric, drumstick, ginger garlic paste optional and in this add tomatoes. Add water, okay and now let the drumstick cook till they are almost done. After cooking for few minutes, we are going to add sesame seed powder. The sesame seed powder give consistency as well as good taste. Coriander powder, pinch of garam masala. In this, green chilli. Now let this cook for another few minutes and we are going to finish it off with the moringa leaf as well as the flower. You can see the consistency. This is perfect. In this, add moringa leaf and the moringa flowers. Okay. This is all the way moringa, absolutely nutritious and tasty. Mix this and let it cook for only two minutes. That should be good enough. The dish is all ready. This is, wow. These tomatoes help beautify this drumstick curry and the leaves as well as the flowers. They are all super tasty. This is a very simple, healthy, nutritious dish. You can enjoy it with rice, roti or any kind of bread. As an accompaniment, as a side dish also, this works wonderful. These flowers and leaves. Wow. Small amount of sourness from the tomatoes makes this a good combination. Just wow. Super. Now people who want to skip the farming part can go to the last because there is going to be a sambar recipe. If I am talking about drumsticks, how can I skip sambar? So we are going to make sambar recipe. Once known as backyard crop. Now grown in actual farms, drumsticks is very popular in south of India. The leaf of this moringa plant is so popular, considered to be the most nutritious of all the leaves. The moringa plant can easily be grown from the seeds and also you can cut a stem and put in the ground and you will have a wonderful moringa plant. These moringa fruits, especially the PK1, PK2, that's what they are called, the hybrid varieties. They grow up to a meter and even four feet long. Moringa and the drumstick is one of the easiest plant to grow and you can get crop throughout the year. But 
During the summers, you get the best of the best crop. You put the seed in the ground in the month of November and by April, you get super, super harvest. On each plant, you can get almost a thousand drumsticks per year. The reason why I have grown this uh, Moringa plant slightly taller is because my goats and sheep just love to come and finish off my Moringas. Usually it is better to grow the Moringa in such a way that you, will be, you should be able to you know, pluck the fruit from the plant by hand. But in the backyards, when I was growing up, we had a Moringa plant which survived for almost uh, 20 years and every year it gave super crop. Connoisseurs, they name their uh, plants like the toddy plants in every village they name them and some people want to drink the toddy from only one particular tree. Similarly, we have uh, named these long uh, uh, drumsticks as Madhuri Dikshit and these ones, you know, which are even tasty, super tasty, we name them as Nitya Menon drumsticks. So, both of them are tasty, but some people just love this variety. Now, if you notice, you know, I let them grow, you know, oversized. I did not pluck them at the right time. So, these are ready for seeds. Put these dried seeds in the soil and in six months, you will start enjoying the bumper harvest of drumsticks. Usually drumstick take care that they grow up straight. But I called it Madhuri Dikshit and I hang around here. So this is always leaning on this side and I just enjoy this leaning on me. And after the crop, usually we cut it till this level, like two, three feet above the ground. And again, it will start sprouting. And after six months, again, this will grow so fast that you can get good crop. So I told you that you got to cut it at this level. But if you notice, we trimmed this at almost uh, seven, eight feet. This plant we have, you know, donated to our neighbor because once it starts sprouting, it will spread over there and they can cut the drumsticks from the rooftop. If you have a drumstick that is close to your house, let the plant grow on the roof so you will be able to cut the drumsticks from the top. If you grow Moringa plant in your house or a farm, make sure you harvest the leaves also. It is a difficult market that somebody will buy your Moringa leaves, but so nutritious that you can add it in your curries. Uh, instead of methi leaves, you can add Moringa and make many recipes. Though not distinctive taste like uh, methi, this is super nutritious. Recognizing the nutrition of these leaves, Malnourished nation, many in Africa have taken this plant and uh, planted there so they can harvest the leaves and the dried powder of these leaves is given as a drink for malnourished children. These Moringa plants grow very easily in soils that are not fertile and super in hot climates. Most of the commercial farmers don't let this plant grow beyond 8 feet. For that and getting wonderful crop, all you need to do is once it grows 4 feet tall, just make sure you prune the head. Once you prune the heads, the small suckers that come from the side grow and it will become very bushy. Every crop has a companion plant. So when you put the drumstick seeds, you make sure you intercrop it with onions. And the onions get harvested in four months. Once you remove the onions, then you concentrate on the drumstick plant where once it starts flowering and fruiting, that is when you give water to the drumstick plant. If I am talking about drumsticks, how can I skip sambar? So we are going to make sambar recipe. Sambar recipe is the most simplest and the tastiest of all the sambars. So add some oil and as usual the South Indian tempering. Mustard seeds, wait for it to boomba boomba tap tap tap. Add cumin seeds, red chilies, some methi dana. In this, curry leaf, slightly bigger piece of onion, garlic, green chili and add hing. Wow. Hing and turmeric. 
had drumstick the vegetable king of the day had tomatoes sort all of this south indian every home has their own special sambar recipe this is the most simplest one in this add water add tamarind juice every house has a sourness level of sambar some people love it very sour some people just mild and you have to find what's yours now bring this to a nice boil when the rawness of the tamarind is gone you will get that nice sweet smell that's when we're going to add the masalas the drumsticks are half done we're going to go with uh, sambar masala i've got the recipes of sambar masala on my channel in this i like it little more spicy so some extra chili powder and also consistency wise i add little extra coriander powder thuar dal which has been cooked add just right enough do not add too much okay now this is the most beautiful color for sambar slightly reddish and yellowish perfect bring it to a nice boil and also add little bit of jaggery this jaggery does the trick with our taste buds with the sourness and the sweetness and all kind of shadruchulu uh, we call that's why sambar is one of the most preferred recipe for us in south india once in the starting and now adjust the seasoning salt should be just right in the end instead of coriander leaf add moringa leaf and another 1 2 minutes of cooking then you have the bumba bumba drumstick sambar some people get scared eating sambar in front of others not me this is super hot sambar mm the real taste you get it when wow absolutely perfect and drumstick wow the idea that drumstick is aphrodisiac i just love it mm. ah absolutely bumba bumba with the flowers mm. this is Mm. Yeah. 